Hi, this is Jack from ChineseLongSort.com. In this video, I will be sharing uh, three advantages that a single-handed saber or sword has over a two-handed uh, sword. So previously, there was a video um, which I shared about uh, we showed uh, someone using a katana versus someone using a single-handed saber, and a single-handed saber uh, actually won most of the matches. So in this video, I will share uh, three advantages that a single-handed saber person would have. Uh, this is not about skill level, okay? So if you're holding a single-handed saber, you would benefit from uh, these uh, three uh, advantages. The first advantage is actually that the single-handed saber had a longer reach as compared to the katana guy. So with a katana, okay? So let's say this is a wall, okay? I'm standing at this distance. So my, the tip of my sword is touching the wall now, okay? So this is my distance. But if I were to let go of my left hand, okay, and hold it with the one hand only, Okay, I am standing further away from the wall. Okay, so let me do it this way. So this is me holding the katana. But if I were to let go of one hand, I can stand further away. Uh, so this gives me a longer reach. So that is the first advantage of uh, using uh, a single-handed saber in this case. The second advantage is that the single-handed saber will be will allow you to make cuts uh, faster. So what do I mean by that? So if I was using a single-handed saber, you'll notice that most of the cut are revolves around using the wrist and the elbow okay so you'll be at this this is one cut okay or I involve the elbow okay that's one cut okay whereas compared to the katana user so this and cut down okay so com compare so you know, if I were to face the camera now okay comparing this okay this kind of swing will take a longer time to cut the other person as compared to just this Okay, if you were to just spin the sword around your wrist or just using the elbows only, you will be able to cut faster than making a full cut like that. Okay, so the second advantage is for the single handed saber is that they can make faster cut okay, by revolving around the wrist or just the elbow. Uh, of course, there will be some arm movement, but uh, that will be kept, uh, quite minimal as compared to using a katana in. in this way or using a, a, any other two-handed uh, sword in, in, in this way the third and the final advantage that I would like to share is actually somewhat related to the second advantage that I've already explained so just now the second advantage was they just spin around the wrist right so uh, if you watch the video the saber user was holding the sword was using his saber uh, was holding his saber in, in this way so actually in this way uh, okay first of all obviously he's preventing the opponent from getting nearer but by holding it in this way, he has actually already completed half the cut, half the motion required to make the cut. So if you were to hold it this way, you have to spin one full circle. But if you hold it this way, you have already completed half the circle. So you can even make the cut uh, faster than if you were to hold it this way. So if you hold it this way, I have to make one full circle. If I were to hold it this way, just half a circle and I can uh, cut the other person. So uh, these are the three advantages that you would have if you're using a single-handed uh, saber in this manner. It's not about skill level, it's just about how you are using the weapon uh, accordingly. So I hope this video has been helpful. Okay, if you like this video, uh, please share it on Facebook or with your friends. Okay? Thank you.